Hello there. I am a super powerful, super advanced, super evil alien. And I am going to now go and waste my time flattening some wheat. <laughs> Uh, but uh, briefly, though, I do want to uh, clear up a misunderstanding with the last video. I wasn't mocking uh, that guy, and I'm not going to mock anybody in the future in this series for believing that aliens merely exist. Uh, however, what I am willing to mock someone for is for believing that aliens have visited Earth. Let me explain. In order to get from almost any other star to Earth, in a reasonable amount of time, you have to travel faster than the speed of light. So far, from what we can tell, you cannot travel faster than the speed of light. So, it's, I suppose, more plausible than certain other paranormal claims. But uh, at the moment, uh, UFOs violate the laws of physics. But uh, as I was saying, I'm, I'm sorry. But as I was saying, this episode is on crop circles. Uh, <coughs> freaking throat torture to do that voice. Uh, anyways, uh, this episode is on crop circles and uh, basically how they can be explained without aliens and why it's ridiculous to try to explain them with aliens. Uh, we're going to start with the latter, why it's ridiculous to explain crop circles with super advanced, super powerful, malevolent aliens. <coughs> Throat torture again. I'm gonna stop doing that probably now. Draw it. Even even this is head torture. Screw all of that. All right. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you a few images. Uh, I want you to ask yourself a very important question. Uh, what is the reason that you think that a super advanced evil alien race, or benevolent alien race, or any alien race, is going to waste their time creating what you see in that image. As you can imagine, I have better things to do with my time, such as to eat kittens. Throat torture again. <coughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous that an alien is going to waste their time doing that. What is the productivity of creating crop circles? What do they gain from creating these things? I, I, that that's what I want to know. Uh, that's actually a rhetorical question. Uh, the obvious answer is that they gain absolutely nothing uh, from creating these images. But do you know who does have something to gain? Gain in quotation marks, I suppose. Uh, from making the uh, crop circles found in these images? Douchebags with too much time on their hands! So as you can hopefully see now, there are better explanations than me to explain these circles. So I hope you will back off and let me eat more kittens now. Um, <coughs> um. <coughs> Holy crap, that is an extremely painful voice to do. Ugh. I hope I never have to do that again. That, that's extremely, extremely painful. Ow. <clears throat> Ow. 
I might actually be overplaying it a little bit, but okay, to be fair, uh, the Circle Makers guys you saw in the picture uh, do do some of their work professionally. However, all of the uh, four crop circles I uh, showed you earlier, uh, I actually uh, played a little uh, trick. All four of those were made, or at least uh, were taken credit for by uh, Circle Makers. So, I mean, the, the four crop circles that I showed you have been explained thoroughly. And yet, people insist that images like those are made by the evil kitten-eating alien. That, for whatever reason, is their prime suspect regarding these things. And they don't warrant such a ridiculous claim like the evil kitten-eating alien. I mean, surely Occam's razor is like a freaking death trap to anybody who actually possesses logic and is trying to propose that explanation, then again, those proposing that explanation don't actually possess logic now, do they?